The Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show is sponsored by Through Night Flashlights and Hog Holsters. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show. Here with Patrick Bass for Shepherd Scopes. If you're like me, maybe you spent a couple of hundred bucks trying to sight in your deer rifle. Shepherd Scopes has got the solution for you with their dual reticle scope. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. I think you're gonna think so too. So I'm gonna let Patrick explain that. All right, thank you, Ryan. So this is Shepherd's 2017 DRS dual reticle system, six to 18. The unique feature in the patent that Shepherd holds is on this reticle turret system. All right, so this is a first focal plane and a second focal plane reticle built into the second to the same scope. Now the idea here is these two move independently. So it does two things, a simple crosshair with precision turrets that move in a hundredth MOA, and then a first focal plane range finding reticle that moves in quarter MOA increments. Now the idea is when you go to sight in your rifle and zero your scope for the first time, you'll take your shot and if you're five inches high and five inches to the left, you're gonna take your first focal plane reticle and you're gonna move it over to your bullet hole, leaving your second focal plane reticle, a simple crosshair, on your original aiming point. So I can do this in a prone position in the woods, right? Now, once I've got my first focal plane covering my bullet hole, my second focal plane on my original aiming point, and I'm good, I bring my gun down, now I can move my second focal plane simple crosshair, realign it with my reticle, and I've zeroed the scope in one shot. So it's a repeater system. Once you align both reticles to your bullet hole, every bullet goes to the same spot from there on out. So basically, you shoot just a hound dog because I'm a Georgia redneck. I like it. You poke a hole in a piece of paper, you put one of your crosshairs on that hole and you make the other one match it. That's right. And you're zero. That's right. And that is as simple as it is. And yeah. people don't believe it until you look through it like I showed you yeah. earlier yeah. today, right? This scope gives you a visual representation of what you're moving inside. Yeah. So you're not blindly turning knobs, you're right? Not counting clicks and no. trying to measure any of that stuff. The scope itself tells you how much you're turning it and yeah. where you're going. So yeah. it's a pretty neat change from a scope where if you get lost, you're grinding it all the way down, all the way up, and then counting oh, yeah. halfway to the middle. I mean, it really is amazing. Hopefully we'll get a chance to do a more in-depth review on this later. And I'll try to get it to, to the camera where you can actually see what we're talking about. It's hard to describe, but man, really it's just as simple as lining up two X's and you're, you're zero it's pretty amazing hey and, I, I appreciate it brian yeah and it also it's also you've also got kind of a bb let's say also one more time you've also it also operates as kind of a range finder right that's right so if we can move over here i'll show you the reticle so our reticles are custom designed for different calibers of weapons right now we have 15 reticles and we're always adding new ones so if you've got a 300 wind mag you want to go deer hunting we do real drop compensation based on your caliber of weapon out to a thousand yards and the circles come in 9 18 and 24 inch diameters at distance so this is an 18 inch circle at 400 yards covers the deer we call it fit and fire you fit it on your target if your target fills up that circle that's how far away it is you fire and then we go to 600 and 800 yards and it actually range shines. We're talking about fast target acquisition, and that's what we want to do, right? So right here, this deer is 400 yards away in this image, right? You put your 400 four circle on it, you fire, that's where the bullet's going. This deer is 600 yards away, because the 18 inch circle fits him at 600 yeah, yards. So not only does it help you determine the range, yeah. but also it's just, you put that on wherever you're at. That's right. That's where it's gonna hit so at that range. So it's letting you elevate the scope elevate your gun to make the long shot. So you make an ethical shot at right. a long distance yeah. rather than trying to adjust the turret on the fly while a deer is running across and clearing. So that's the kind of, I mean, that's the kind of scope that somebody like me, who I'm not a trained sniper or anything else. That's right. I mean, that's just, she's, I like it. What do you yeah. fit and fire, right? Fit and fire. Fit and hey, fire. Look, most people don't know the mill system. I personally, I'm an engineer and I'm out there trying to do math to count up and down and what the, what's going on. Look, yeah. I want to enjoy myself hunting and when that deer comes out of the clearing in the in the early morning and it's still dark and i just barely got two seconds to make a shot that's the only way i'm going to make the shot because yeah. i'm not going to adjust the scope and make that shot and we hear too many stories about the buck of my life came out for just a moment but i couldn't get him because i didn't know how far away it was yeah and, you know? and, which is really cool but the other thing is really cool is i'm talking to you before you, I mean, you are like first quality, highest quality materials 
and engineering that goes into stuff. If I understand right, like one of your one of your other businesses is you make lenses for satellites, right? That's right. Salvo Technologies is the owner of Shepherd Scopes. That's my company. We started as an engineering company designing multispectral imaging systems, mostly for militaries. That's what we've been doing for the last 15 years. Shepherd Scopes actually has a manufacturing facility in Tampa, Florida that makes optics, not just for Shepherd Scopes, but for other companies. We've done multispectral imaging for governments, uh, defense packages for helicopters. We actually make optics. And when, when the industry here talks about optic, they call this an optic. We call this a scope. The optics are all the parts and lenses that go inside of it. So we make everything from germanium for thermal systems to laser systems for LASIK vision surgery. So where, where are Shepherd Scopes made? Shepherd Scopes are made from a mixture of Japanese uh, metals, uh, German brass and bronze magnesium zoom assemblies, and U.S. glass. Tampa, Florida is where the manufacturing facility is. So, so first quality materials, first quality in, you know, production and manufacturing, and just, in my opinion, the the coolest, some of the coolest features I've ever seen in a scope. I'm just telling you, that's just... Well, I appreciate it. Look, we get that real response every time we show somebody, right? They've got to see these two reticles moving yeah. in that alignment, and it's a cell. But it's hard to get people away from the old one. I'm gonna count my clicks, right? Because that's just that. what they I know. Just hate it, right? Yeah. So, anyway, um, but you also have got in addition to these um, higher end, you no know, long range optics. You're also coming out with some other other. That's right. Stuff, right. We're doing some second focal plane. We call them the Rogue Series scopes. We want to bring high quality. Mark, look, this is a dual reticle scope. It's got 12 optics in it, 30 millimeter tube, giant top end glass, and this is $1,100. That's $900 cheaper than the next dual reticle scope in the world. We can do that because we control the optics. Right. So with our entry level scopes, our Rogue series scopes, we want to give people good quality glass at a reasonable price. Scopes are overpriced. It's no doubt. There shouldn't be any scope that's $2,500. It's a ridiculous number. You know, four or $500, you should be able to get a high quality scope that's going to last you for 20 years right. and that's what we're trying to bring into this market high quality scopes at reasonable prices and if i understand you're, you're one of the few people that's using cut ground lenses right that's right there's no molded optics in our scopes we're actually grinding and polishing the optics that go in our scopes uh, we make reticles in-house so we're we're able to offer 15 different drop compensation reticles out of the box. And by summertime this year, you'll be able to call us and tell us uh, your muzzle velocity, your ballistic coefficient, your altitude, and what caliber of weapon, and we'll make you a custom reticle and drop it into the wow. scope. I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty I don't cool. know what else we can do to get yeah. people to convert over, but. That's pretty cool. You know, drop compensation out to 1,000, 1,200 yards. Yeah. Once you're zero the scope, the dope's done. Yeah, that, right. that's that's amazing. That's amazing. So, and um, you, but you also offer like some stuff for, for more uh, tactical type of scope. Yeah, we, this year we started putting out some tactical. We've got the 40 LR. It's a side carry laser with a red dot inside. And here's what we did: we made it so you can independently adjust both the laser and the red dot. That way you can have two aiming points in the same scope. You want to set it at 25 and 50, or 50 and 100. You can do that with the scope. But the other thing we did is we put real turrets on it, right? Not yeah. those little ones where you need the little screwdriver yeah. or the little two pins yeah. to get down in here. We put real scope turrets on it. We think it matters, right? We think the quality yeah. matters in it. Yeah, We've got uh, our new micro dot. It has no moving parts, right? People hate that on-off switch. Those break, right? We have an optical sensor on the front of ours. People like those until they go into pitch black and then they don't work because they're not picking up any light to turn the thing on. So what we did, we patented this detent pin. It goes right down to the board. You press that, gives you two hours of light, the thing turns itself off. You got a three MOA red dot in there. And we've tested and this on an AK-47. Really? Yeah. yeah. And that's very, very low profile too. Yeah, it's, it's a nice clean scope. And look, these things, char people are charging 300 bucks for them. It's $160 from us wow. here at Shot Show this week. Wow. That's amazing. Really cool stuff. So, um, man, I, again, I'm, I know I sound like I'm just like some kind of fanboy here, but it's just amazing to me that, that the, I know, the uh, ability to, because I, I, I look back, to, I was sighting in a rifle last year. I bought a, a little 20, just a 22 with a little scope, right? Right. And it took me like 15 rounds just to get it on the paper because it was so far off. Right. And yet, 
and then you gotta like you know click here click here it's just like so it down, hold man. it still so you don't yeah, lose so. your spot we wanted to make a rifle scope like we make a reticle specifically for a 22 long rifle yeah for the exact reason i want to be able to go have fun shooting yes i don't want to be all angry every time i'm putting a scope on a rifle and trust me these days i gotta put a lot of scopes on rifles yeah so when yeah. i go out now it takes me a few minutes before the shot show. It took me about an hour to rack up about five weapons for a range deck. Right, that's right? really cool. So. so, I mean, you throw it on, tighten everything down, take the shot, and let the scope do the work for you. So, just a very innovative design, and hopefully we can take, I've actually, well, I kind of let the cat out of the bag. I think we'll be getting a 308 coming to the channel to check out. Maybe we'll check some of these scopes out. We'll just see how far my poor little self can do. Yeah, we'll get you a V2 and get it on that 308 cool. and see what you do. Right, cool. Well, Patrick, thank you so much for take, taking time to talk to us, and thank you for watching. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. I would like to take just a minute to thank Through Night Flashlights and Hog Holsters for sponsoring this coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show. I gotta tell you, I bought my first Through Night Flashlight about three years ago. It was the TN12 version, I remember. I was really impressed with the quality of that flashlight. And I've since developed a relationship with Night and, and reviewed a lot of their gear. I just really think they do a great job of providing exceptional value in really cutting edge flashlight technology. My current everyday carry flashlight I've been carrying for, I don't know, at least a year is the TC12, which is kind of like the rechargeable version of the TN12. I highly recommend this. They've actually got a new version coming out. I'll be doing a review on soon, but this is an excellent, excellent flashlight. I think if you're looking for a really high quality, high value flashlight, uh, you can't go wrong with a through night. They just really have impressed me with, with the level of, of, of value that they provide in a really nice flashlight. They're also kind enough, by the way, as you can see, to hook me up with this really cool shirt. I'd also like to thank John over at Hog Holsters. Uh, John makes these really nice puller in the waistband Kydex holsters. This is the uh, carbon fiber bling model, which feature the Ulti Clip retention system, which I really like. As I said before, this is absolutely my go-to holster, the best holster I've ever used, so I highly encourage you to go check them out too. So, um, But anyway, once again, I will put links to, to, to Through Night Flashlights and Hog Holsters below. I think they are both excellent examples of the kind of companies that I can feel 100% confident in recommending to you because not only do I use them every day in my own life, but I, I just think they are very, very good stuff. So once again, thanks to both Through Night Flashlights and Hog Holsters for sponsoring this coverage of the 2017 SHOT Show. And as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with all your friends. Thank you so very much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival On Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival On Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident. So be prepared, I'll see you next time. I'm a, instead of me trying to explain it, we're gonna let Patrick do it. So this is, um, they've got a lot of cool stuff, but they've also, um, right, we're gonna start that over.